from the westernunion.com VIP lounge. So, sub, well, speaking of your relationship, <laughs> so this girl, I had to unfollow her for about 48 hours. <laughs> Back at Valentine's Day, she posted a photo of you and some giant, man-sized, huge teddy bears. It was like six of them and like a thousand rows, and I was like, this itch. You know what? <laughs> now, how did you and B.O.B. come together? Because he's such a sweetheart. And I was like, you know what? That works. They're good for each other, but I'm still jealous. Aww. <laughs> well, I actually have seven bears, and you can have one if you like. What? Please. You can have one. Because right now, I I, <laughs> I teased him. I remember I took a picture of my house. It was way after Valentine's Day. I was like, so I have these house guests that just won't leave. <laughs> like permanent pink, big old house guests. And he just laughed and it was whatever. But um, no, we've actually, we've been friends for years. Years, like okay. friends for years and um you know it, it may have come it came as a surprise for everybody else who don't know us that yeah. you know we were spending a little more time more time together yeah but for our you know friends and things like that they're like okay what's what else is new you know what i yeah. mean um because we've been friends for years and and we met you know we had shows together and things like that and you know, I'm just, aside from being a, a, I've always been a fan of his. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, it's cool to have, you know, someone who was your friend for it to turn into something a little bit more. It's kind of cool. So when you guys were back when you were friends, did you have those moments where you're like, mm, I'm kind of feeling him, but I'm going to friends <laughs> until he say something. Um, like, how did that well, initial he was never, start? He was always my friend, but yeah. he was never in the friend zone. Okay. You know what I mean? You were waiting. Like, you know, we have the guys we put in a friend zone, right? Yeah. Off right. Top. Yeah. <laughs> he was never I never had him in a friend zone. It was just my friend that I enjoyed hanging out with. And it just literally we don't even know where it started up again because we've always hung out. It's just, you know, it's not my friend that I get to kiss every became... now and then now. <laughs> Well, congratulations. I'm happy for you because you guys definitely seem happy together. Man, they, but follow you guys. a day at a time. You know what I mean? In, yeah. in relationships, period. It's a, You take it a day at a time. And, and we say all the time, you know, we were friends first. And if for some reason it ends tomorrow, guess what? He's still going to be one of my best friends and I'm still going to be one of his. So Aww. it's just nice. Yeah. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Do you find it hard, though, because he is a celebrity and you're a celebrity as well? Are you afraid of getting the Chris Brown Karuchi treatment? Um, or I mean, I think that you could you could be really, really, we could be really, really guarded and yeah. try to, you know, look and see who's peeping behind the corner or who's doing that. But that, who, wanna, who wants to live their life like that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I can't live my life like that. Right. I can't live my life worried about what a blog is going to say, what they're going to ask me in an interview, what they're going to post on Instagram. I cannot live my life like that. I right. have an, enough other things in my life to really have to, that I have to control and watch over. Um, when it comes to my personal life, we just live. Right. You know what I mean? Like you just got to, you got to live at the end of the day and people are going to have opinions left and right, up and down and let them feel how they feel. Right. They're not with us when we're chilling and it's just, you know, just he just and the I. two of you. Yeah. So she's like, I'm just gonna do me, and y'all gonna just, say whatever you want. Yeah, because I mean, one day they love you, next day they hate you. So it's okay. Well, yeah. right now we love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there. Right now we love oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> so what's next for you? I know the album comes out in summer. Man, yes, the album comes out this summer, and I'm, I'm super excited about it. Like I said, um, I got a lot of cool features on it. Obviously, Chris is on the album. Right. Um, Ty Dolla Sign is on a song called Fallen, which uh -oh. I'm really excited about. Um, August Alcina is on a song called Better Minute. Uh oh. Whoa, your hands went up real quick. <laughs> I'm real, about to say. real quick. Real quick. Um, and then I have a couple of other features that I'm extremely excited about, but I got to keep those in my back pocket. I can see you rapping too, though. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I get into that. What? I do. I get into it a little bit. You might hear some of that on the album. Okay. I have to save it. Now nah, I'm going to save it for the album. You got to get the album. <laughs> <laughs> the album. Okay. Well, we're definitely excited for this new album. Man, I, I, I am extremely excited. I can't wait for y'all to hear. There's a lot of songs that are very near and dear to my heart. You know, there's a song on the album called Four Street mm -hmm. that um, I wrote the song about the street that I grew up on. I'm from a small town called Haines City, Florida. I'm a little country. I don't know if y'all hear it sometimes. Just a little bit. It's, it's there. Um, you spend a little bit more time with me my grandma's turned into grand grandma's it's right. very country but um 
Yeah, Fourth Street. I wrote it about the street that I grew up on. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, my family, they still live there. I have like six houses of relatives on one street. Oh, wow. Yeah. And That's my like parents. cold Yeah, it's crazy. And yeah. my parents grew up on that same street right down the street from each other. Like, it's, it's real crazy. And I just went and shot a video for Fourth Street. Yeah. On Fourth Street. And um, the song is near and dear to me. At the end of the song, um, I list everyone who had a hand in raising me. Yeah. Who, you know, they've since they passed. They passed. And so. I name all of them on the end of the song, but it's just about good people. You know what I mean? Who who they don't want nothing from you. They just want to see you. They want to make sure you're all right. So right. Fourth Street is near and dear. And you know, I have so many songs like that on the album. I can't wait for y'all to hear. Well, let me ask you a question, just because it's a huge topic in the news right now with everything that just happened with Mike Brown, with Oscar Grant, who's from here. Like, what is your take on what's going on? Because we just had a protest yesterday, but they shut down both freeways. Really? Yeah. Like. Good for y'all. Right. Yeah. Um. It's it's sickening. Right. To me, it, it's sickening. Is is it brings tears to everybody's eyes. You know, for me personally, on a whole other level, I'm from the South. I grew up in the South, so right. I've experienced and and been around that type of culture for a lot of my life. You right. know what I mean? Even I've seen that type of behavior and that type of treatment a a, a lot, lot growing up. So um and. I, and not that it didn't exist in other places, mm -hmm. um, but it just it. I just feel like it's spreading. Like I feel like everywhere you look now, every time you turn on the TV, like another. I'm sorry, but another black man is getting shot in the back, and that just breaks right. my heart. And you know, so people ask me, you know, how do you feel about it? What do you want to do about it? I think that. Everybody can do something, even if it's in a small way. Like right. for me personally, I write songs. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's that's my gift from God. Try you know to what influence I mean? through your music. So yeah. I, if if I can send a little bit of positivity out, you know what I mean, through a record or through a song, then you know, then that is what I will do. So for me, for example, like for "Don't Kill the Fun," it's it, yes, it's upbeat, and we all are, 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 But even when I was like approaching that song and in that mind space. I got tired of people and myself just taking life so seriously and, and I got tired of the negativity and I wanted to put something a little positive so I wanted to remind people, you know, don't kill the fun in your lives. Don't yeah. kill the fun in your relationships. Don't kill the fun in your families. Like, you know what I mean? And that's where a lot of don't kill the fun came from. But um, how do I feel about that? It is... It's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. You yeah. know what I mean? Because somebody's father, somebody's brother, somebody's uncle. So, and I think about my own family, yeah. my own father and brothers and uncles, and I, I would, I would, uh, it's just, it's crazy. No, I completely understand. It's, it's yeah. Well, yeah. let's not kill the fun because I'm waiting to get my hands on your new album. Oh, <laughs> so That's way more important than this album, listen here. What is your number one track off the album that you're like, this is my slap? Um, my number one favorite, <coughs> favorite song, off of the album, I can't, it's between, I think it's between two songs. Um, but I, yeah, it's between two songs. One of my favorite songs on the album is a song called On the Verge. Okay. It's a title track. It's produced by um, by Oak. Oh. And it was written by myself, uh, Microphone Check, or Micah, and Sherrod, who also wrote, Sherrod wrote The Way With Me for Ariana. Right. And that's one of my favorite ones because I just, um, y'all know I'm a fan of so many different types of music, which is why I like to write songs for different artists and, and pop records and army records and alternative type of records. And on the verge it's like a it's a it's a marriage between um like different genres. Like kinda how how Don't Kill the Fun is like nineties house but then like trap and that type of thing. Yeah. So it, on the verge it's kinda like a little bit of the same thing. It's like merging together, you know, some genres. So I love that one. And I love a song called Crazy Beautiful. And I love Crazy Beautiful. It was produced by Diplo who also did you know, it won't stop. I love Crazy Beautiful because um, I felt like that particular day, that's how I felt. I felt like, you know, I'm a cancer. And, you know, as a cancer and as a woman, sometimes we're a little emotional. We And, and people like to tell you, oh, you know, 
you know, embrace that. Sometimes, sometimes they like to tell me, embrace that. That's how, you know, you write your records. Right. That's how, you know, you get songs that touch people. And then when, you know, the emotional side comes back to on a bite them in the butt on a day that they don't want to feel it, then it's like, oh, you're being too emotional. You need to calm down. <laughs> so I'm just like, that particular day, I was like, yo, like, okay, so one second it's crazy. The next second is beautiful. Well, how about the same thing that makes people think that you are a little crazy the things that they don't understand about you are the same exact things that make you beautiful right and that is what crazy beautiful is about so that's one of my favorites well, i'm yeah. definitely excited for this new album and if Thank people want to follow you and see when it comes out and what you got going on how can they holler at you uh make sure you guys hit me on my twitter and my instagram which is at seven s-e-v-y-n yeah i was gonna say you gotta spell it because you know people be like seven <laughs> versus seven you know what i mean <laughs> Yes, S-C-B-Y-N. Make sure you guys follow me. Well, thank you again for coming to kick it with us and for your Thanks. awesome performance. Uh, thank you guys so much for dealing with the <laughs> stuffiness going on right here. I do hope you feel better. Thank you so and much. And I need everybody to put your hands together one more time for uh, Seven Streeter. Put your hands together for yourselves. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. What up, y'all? It's Seven Streeter. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you check out more interviews and exclusive live performances right here on 106 KMEL. I said, 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 I said